Hey guys, what is kicking? My name is Brandy and I love to make cool stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool, awesome, super spike choker. Let's do this. For your project, you're going to need a belt of your choosing. I prefer one between an inch and an inch and a quarter in width and something nice and durable to hold your big ass spikes. You're going to need a ruler, a leather hole punch, a screwdriver, a pair of scissors, a piece of chalk, or something to mark up your belt with. And of course, you are going to need your big ass spikes. Right here, I am holding these really cool spikes from Studs and Spikes. They are very pretty and quite durable and also not inexpensive. <laughs> they will cost you a little bit. You can also Google giant spikes and Google will show you lots of results. These spikes do come in this pretty shiny finish, but they do also come in a less expensive option. This is the raw aluminum and this is meant to be painted. So if you do want to paint them in the future, um, go ahead and pick up yourself some of these cool ones. Here is a choker that I made with the raw aluminum spikes and they look just as cool as the pretty shiny ones. So to get started, you're going to want to measure your neck. You can either use a measuring tape, a piece of string. In this case, I'm going to use the belt itself. Wrap it around your neck. You're going to want to start measuring here. Bring it around and then where they touch, you're going to put your hole. My neck, I already know, is slightly less than 13 inches. So I know my hole is going to be approximately here, right under 13 inches. And then I'm going to make just a few extra holes in case I want to tighten it. Now before you cut your belt off, make sure you have ample room. Don't cut it too short. You need a slight tail on there so it goes up under this belt ring thing. So now that I have my belt marked, I am going to place my spikes. And here is where you play and you find out where you want your spikes to be. I am going to place my spikes two inches apart from each other. So that will give me a little room here and a little room here at the back of my neck. But I'm thinking that I might want to add some extra spikes to this. Now these spikes, I actually pulled off of another choker that I got from, I don't know, like Amazon or AliExpress or something like that. But they look pretty cool. So I'm going to use these in between my big ass spikes. So here and here, every one inch, I have a spike. So now I can take them and every one inch I will put a hole. Take your hole punch, put it on the biggest hole and use it to punch holes where the large spikes are gonna go.
these screws on my smaller spikes are significantly smaller than the larger spikes. So I have to adjust this. Probably that one will work. So I move this to that one. Should have done this in the beginning, but I'm gonna adjust back to my larger hole so I can punch the adjustment hole. Now you can proceed to plug in your spikes. And you have your choker. So at this point, I would pull it and then I would snip off the end. Now what you can do is you can either cut it straight like this. I prefer a rounded end or some sort of shape. I'm just taking a bottle of caulking that I happen to have lying around. It's the perfect arc shape for the end of my choker. So now that we've snipped off the end, if you do want to finish it, get a bottle of that E6000 glue and just seal up the edge so it doesn't start to come apart or fray. And here it is, you guys, the final product, the awesome Super Spike Choker. So that's it, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video on how to make your awesome Super Spike Choker. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button and give me a huge thumbs up because it helps help my channel a lot. And I will see y'all next time. Mwah.